colors. What colors do you like? I like all colors, but red is my favorite color. What is the most important color in India? India is a vast country. It is difficult to generalize one color as the most popular color. I think all colors are equally popular. But three colors of national flag are the most popular. Green stands for prosperity, saffron stands for sacrifice, and white stands for peace. Do you like to wear dark or bright colors? I usually prefer wearing dark clothes during the winters, but in summers I like to wear light shades. Do colors affect your mood? Yes, colors affect my mood. When I see bright colors, I feel energetic, but light shades make me feel calm. Did color matter to you when you were a child? Yes, color mattered to me when I was a child. My mother tells me I always wanted things in red color. My school bag was always red and my clothes also had shades of red. Does color matter when you buy things? Yes, definitely. Color is very important while shopping. I like my clothes in light pastel shades but household items like bed sheets and dinner sets in bright shades. Which color you don't like to have in your home? I like all colors but I wouldn't like gray on the walls of my house because I find gray to be a dull color. What is the difference between men's and women's preference on colors? There are no gender differences nowadays. Both men and women wear all types of colors. Have you ever seen a rainbow? Yes, I have seen a rainbow many times, in fact. It looks very beautiful and generally it is seen during the rainy season. There are seven colors in the rainbow. That is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. I feel really happy when I see the rainbow. In Hindu mythology, it is called Indradhanush, or the bow of Lord Indra, the Lord of Thunder and Lightning. Family. How often do you meet with your family? I stay with my family. I meet my family members every single day. How do you spend the time with your family? I spend the time with my family in many ways. We eat together, cook together, watch television together, and do many things together. Do you want to live with your family in future? Yes, definitely. My family is my life. Even though I go to some foreign country temporarily, I finally want to be with my family. Are you close to your all the family members or are you close to all of your family members? Yes, we are very close knit family. We share all of our sorrows and happiness with each other. How has your family influenced you? My family has influenced me in many ways. We depend on each other for many things. We guide each other from time to time and we do many things together. Friends. Do you have many friends? Yes, I have many friends, but only a few close friends. How often do you talk to your friends? I talk to my friends every day and my best friend is also my neighbor. We are together most of the time. How do you communicate with your friends? I communicate face to face and also through cell phone and apps like WhatsApp. What do you think makes people have a long friendship? Mutual understanding makes people have a long friendship. If people can tolerate each other's shortcomings and be simple and straightforward, then friendship 
can be for a long time. Does it make things easier in a friendship if you have similar interests? Yes, definitely. With similar interests, friends can spend time together and not get bored. They will also have similar topics for discussion. In a lasting friendship, it is very essential that your likes and dislikes are similar. How do people make new friends now? Nowadays, people make friends through internet, by joining social networking sites like Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. Do you think we meet new people differently now than in the past? Yes, definitely. Nowadays, we meet new people through internet by joining social networking sites like Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp. Earlier, people had lots of free time and they made friends by meeting personally. Is friendship or friends are friends important to you? Why or why not? Yes, friends are very important to me. I share all my feelings or I can say most of my feelings with my friends and they understand me very well because they are mostly of my age. Do you prefer to spend time with friends or spend time alone? I prefer to spend time with my friends. I love their company and I also enjoy a lot with them. What kind of people do you like to have as friends? I like my friends to be honest, trustworthy, helpful and intelligent. I also like friends with a good sense of humor. And do you like to spend time with your friends and why yes I like to spend time with my friends because I enjoy their company I like to go out with them for movies for shopping and for walks what do you and your friends do together we study together go for walks together watch movies together and sometimes eat out together what do your friends think of you do your friends think that you are a good friend and why? I think my friends like me. We spend a lot of time together and they never seem bored. I'm honest and straightforward with them at all the times, so I think they like me. Are friends more important than family and why? Friends and family both are important. But I think family is definitely more important than friends. Friends can turn out to be fair, wealthier friends, but family is always with you in your good times and bad times. It has been rightly said that in prosperity, your friends know you, but in adversity, you know your friends. How do Indian people make friends? Or where do Indian people make friends? In what situations? Example, at school or at work. Indian people make friends in schools, colleges, while traveling, during family get-togethers, during outings, and many other ways. Nowadays, making online friends has also become very popular. Do adults and children make friends in the same way? Adults and children do not make friends in the same way. Children are very innocent and make friends from the heart. They don't judge a person before making friends. Adults, on the other hand, are very calculative. They make friends after judging whether that person could be helpful to them or not. Advertisement Are there many advertisements in your country? Yes, there are too many advertisements in our daily lives. In fact, advertisement has become an industry. It has become the backbone of many economies of the world. Ads are ubiquitous nowadays. We see ads on TV, newspaper, hoardings, and flyers. We also get ads through the radio, cell phone, 
and the internet. Why do you think there are so many advertisements now? There are so many advertisements because there are many products and the manufacturing companies are competing with each other. They have to advertise to stay in the race. So we have an advertisement for almost each and every product that is available for sale. What are the various places where we see advertisements? Advertisements are all around us. We have advertisements in newspapers, magazines, on TV, on radio, and on the internet. How do you feel about advertisements? I feel that advertisements are necessary. Apart from telling us about the product, they are also telling us about the working of these products. Ads also touch social issues. However, I also feel that ads are very disturbing at times. Do you like advertisements? Yes, I like advertisements. I think they are very informative and keep us updated about the latest products and offers. What kind of advertisements do you like the most? I like advertisements that have a touch of humor. I also like advertisements that touch social issues. Art. Do you like art? Yes, I like art. Art gives me meaning to life. Art is what differentiates us from animals. I like all sorts of art. I like drawing and painting. I also like performing arts like music and dance. Do you think art classes are necessary? And why? Yes, I think art classes are very necessary. Art brings out people's creativity. Art preserves our culture and tradition. How do you think art classes affect children's development? Art classes affect children's development in many ways. Art brings out the hidden creativity of children. Art is a form of communication. People can convey their feelings through their paintings and through their songs. What kind of paintings do Indian people like? Indian people like different kinds of paintings. It is a matter of personal choice. Some people like portraits. Some like paintings of landscapes. Some like the traditional forms of paintings. And some like the modern art forms. What can you learn from Western paintings? We can learn many things from Western paintings. In fact, from any form of art from anywhere. Sometimes it is related to a culture. Sometimes it may be someone's expression of their perspective. Sometimes it's a social message and we can also learn about the types of material like canvas, paints, etc. used to create that work of art. What benefits can you get from painting as a hobby? Painting as a hobby can bring out your hidden talent. Painting can relax you. You can even sell your paintings and earn money. You can also gift your paintings to someone you love. Bags. Do you like bags? Yes, I like bags. I have different bags for different occasions. I carry my backpack to my school or my college or my classes as I can easily carry my books in it. I have special bags for formal occasions, shopping and everyday use. What types of bags do you like? I like bags that are easy to carry like backpacks, slang bags and totes and I can use such bags to easily accommodate the things I need. I also like bags that have a few compartments so that I can keep my things organized. Do you usually carry a bag when you go out? Yes, I usually carry a bag when I go out. However, the type of bags I use for different occasions vary. What types of bags 
do you use in your everyday life? Or do you have different bags for different occasions or different purposes? Yes, I have different bags for different occasions. I use backpack when I go to my classes for formal occasions. I have formal bags for shopping. I use totes and sometimes I use a sling bag when I don't have to shop and the occasion is not formal. What do you put in these bags? For my classes or when I go to my school or college, I usually carry books and stationery in my bag. When going for shopping, I carry my wallet, cell phone and a bottle of water. And when traveling, I also put some medicines and a book or a magazine in my bag. On formal occasions, I carry only my wallet and my cell phone. What sorts of bags do women like to buy? I don't think it can be generalized as it depends on the individual choice of the woman. Some women like big bags and some like smaller ones. Some always use a sling bag and sometimes a particular color or material of bags. Some women also choose bags from a particular brand. Books. How often do you read? I like to read quite often. I read magazines and newspapers and my textbooks. Apart from that, I have read a few novels by Amrita Pritham. I have read her pinjar, which means skeleton. Do you have many books at home? No, I do not have any books at home. I only have my textbooks at my home. Do Indian people do enough reading? Yes, Indian people do a lot of reading. They read magazines, newspapers, fiction and non-fiction such as biographies and autobiographies. Do Indian people like to read? This is the same kind of question. You can give the same answer. The same as we gave to the previous question. What kind of people like reading and what kind of people don't like reading very much? People who are literate like to read. Many people don't like reading because they don't have interest in reading. What type of books children read nowadays? Nowadays, generally speaking, the reading habit of children is on the decline. Whatever books they read are based on fantasy, fiction, and supernatural characters like Barbie, Superman, and Shaktiman. About 50 years ago, children read a lot. They read moral and spiritual books. They read animal stories. And I think in future, maybe about after 50 years, I don't think they will do any reading. All the time will be spent in front of computers. Do you think children have lost their interest in stories? No, I don't think that children have lost their interest in stories. However, the stories they read today are very different from the past. Can storybooks be an idle gift for children? Yes, definitely. Storybooks can be an idle gift for children. They can help the child imagine the characters in the mind, which is the first step to creativity. Another important benefit is that we can impart the knowledge of culture, tradition, moral values, and religion in the mind of a child. This forms the basis of child's personality. Finally, storybooks enhance the curiosity of child to enhance their mental growth. What can be done to encourage the habit of reading among children? A lot can be done to encourage the habit of reading among children. The first and foremost step would be to make books available. There should be good libraries in schools as well as in the neighborhoods. Storytelling competitions could be organized.
if children had to take part in these competitions, then naturally they would be encouraged to read more books. Finally, books could be made more interesting by adding graphics. How does reading help a child? Reading helps to improve concentration. It also helps to improve general knowledge and it also improves the language skills and satisfies the curiosity of children on various things. What sorts of books can be suggested to children to read? Children should be encouraged to read religious and historical books. They should also read biographies and autobiographies of famous people so that they can get motivation from them. They should also be encouraged to read books on science and technology. However, these books should be made very interesting by adding some graphics or pictures. How much should a child read every day? A child should read about half an hour to one an hour daily. I think that would be enough considering that they also have to go to their school and apart from that they also have to do their homework.